So those were the headlines. Moving straight to our very first story. The Pristia Honey Valley Small Scale Miners Association is demanding an urgent investigation into a police swoop at its operation site, which led to the destruction of their properties. Kwesi Ejenim has the details from Pristia. Addressing the press conference organized by the Pristia Honey Valley Small Scale Miners Association at Pristia, the technical advisor of the association, David Anthony, said they have liable information that an illegal miner in the area facilitated the soup which took place on the 7th of December. The issue is that one Amponsa Akobeng, who claims to be the new owner and controller of Western Mining concessions located within the Inzema East District, led some police personnel as well as other men, including himself, dressed in military camouflage uniforms to invade one Akumwa Mining Group concession, one Abdul Hamid concession, and one Sabin Enterprise concession. Stop the mining operations, chased the workers, destroyed mining equipment, loaded three excavators belonging to the concession owners on load loaders from the site. They were, however, stopped by the mob at the Pristia Township when they attempted to take the equipment out of Pristia. The secretary of the Pristia Univali Small Scale Miners Association, Mustafa Nuhu, and Harris Toku, a victim, all demanded an end to such attacks. And Ponsa doesn't have a mining license at where he is working now. What we are saying is that we are very serious that if the government doesn't intervene, especially the Minerals Commission and the Minister of uh, Lands and Natural Resources, if they doesn't intervene in this issue and sack and Ponsa from where he is mining, he's doing a total illegal mining. If he refuses another time, it will be a different thing altogether because we are prepared, we are ever ready. If the government wanted that way, we are ever ready. Look at these people around this area. We are ready to face him. It is not fair for we Ghanaians to acquire a mining license and somebody who doesn't have a mining license can use the police and the military to brutalize uh, uh, widows who are having uh, in lines. Minyama was saying for more than 300 million. Watches, it be 5 million, 4 million, 3 million. Jeans in a day. I'm a crazy telling now what they buy. Why should you know? And to me, you know, I'm scared. I'm poor. I'm in two million quarter crore a day. In time, I can't do. And to me, peda, me peda. I ban one, 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 two. Me police phone. I don't want to ban. I will be busy. Yeah, they will be busy. Yeah, them in your mano. Yeah, peda. You will be busy. Yeah, they will be busy. Yeah, them in your mana. Yeah, to me, yeah, jeans. Come back. Now, you see, to me, I feel fearful. Meanwhile, the alleged mastermind behind the police who, Amponsa Okobin, when contacted on phone, admitted filing a complaint at the Ministry of Environment, but unsure if the raid was as a result of his complaint. Reporting from Pristia, I am Kwesi Ej Enim for Vasatwa News. Director General of the Ghana Health Service, Dr. Ebenezer Apia Dinch.